Mine came out years ago. Look. <laughs> okay, Dad, put them back in before we all barf. Vlad Dracula is the anti-hero of Hotel Transylvania 2. He didn't appear in the first film of Hotel Transylvania. He is the father of Dracula, the paternal grandfather of Mavis, the grandfather-in-law of Jonathan and the paternal maternal great-grandfather of Dennis. He is over 1,251 years old. After being ignored by his son for over hundreds of years, Vlad took to living in a dark cave with demonic cronies. Holy rabies! He finally invites me to something! They would often go out at night to steal souls for fun. Personality Vlad is depicted as being very old-fashioned and stuck in tradition. Being over a thousand years old, Vlad can be annoyed by change. He had a firm belief that humans and monsters should not interact, for to do so would cause all-out war. You let your daughter marry a human and have a human kid! Why don't you just put a stake through my heart? Comparing to his former assistant, Bella, he was more like simply hating humans instead of willing to attack them, however. He is rather calm when mentioning humans or Hotel Transylvania. On the other hand, Bella is often out of control when he talks about or smells humans. I smell humans! Tear it down! Is that a hotel? Fancy schmancy! Hotels are for humans! After encountering his grandson-in-law and great-grandson, he had a change of heart and realized he'd misjudged humans. Don't ever come near me or my family again. Daddy, you just saved a human. <laughs> also, he appears too indifferent to many other things expect his relatives, whom he treats them pretty amiable. On the other hand, he is very sarcastic and bitter to things that he finds unfamiliar, such as Murray's appearance. He calls talking toilet paper. Yo, V, what's up? Talking toilet paper. Well, that's a new one. Or Johnny's wig. Blah, black sheep, have you any wool? What's that thing on your head? Looks like my grandmother's boobies. Weapons and abilities. As a Dracula, he has the ability of flight and can turn himself into a bed at any time. He can also walk in the walls and has telekinesis powers. As a vampire he has two pointy fangs that he used to bite his opponent or human in his case and suck their blood, although that was never shown in the movie. He also has sharp claws. The lists. Number 1. His name is an obvious reference to Vlad the Impaler, in which Bram Stoker's Dracula is based on. Number 2. There is an unused scene sequence in Hotel Transylvania 2 called Meet Vlad that didn't make the final cut. The scene would have shown Dracula and Frankenstein driving to Vlad's cave, where they would fall down a pit into the cave, and been greeted by Bella or one of the bat cronies, and escorted to Vlad. Number 3. Vlad's attitude towards humans is very similar to Dracula's attitude towards them in the first film. Letting your own daughter out there with those horrible humans you always tell us about? That's why you built this place. They hate us. They're vicious. This is likely part of why Dracula was mistrustful and suspicious of humans during the first film. Look what you started. Don't worry, gang. I raised my son to hate and kill and steal the souls of humans like a good boy. Number four. Dracula can't stand being around his father due to a burning disgust of his brutal and grumpy ways from when he was five. Because Drac's fangs were late coming out, Vlad scared them out, a sort of wussy exorcism by possessing Drac's beloved baby raccoon, Lulu. First you've got to possess something the late Fanga finds sweet and innocent. Then you show them what's what and <gasps> pop! Number 5. Vlad is similar to a Disney film, The King of the Sea, Triton. Triton forbids Ariel from contacting humans but after all that happens, he was able to accept the reality. Number 6. With one sniff, Vlad was able to know that Linda and Mike, who were dressed up as zombies, smelled funny. That is a neat costume. <laughs> These two smell funny. Getting a small hint that they weren't actual monsters, but he was distracted by Frank to pay much heed. Hey 
count? How goes it? Frankenstein. Actually, I'm technically Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein, he's the doctor. You'd love to hear more. Call my people. Number 7. Vlan's address is 666 Gory Cliff Lane. Number 8. Changes the view he's had of humans for hundreds, if not thousands of years in roughly two minutes. Because his great-grandson is half-human, and doesn't hesitate to hit his most loyal minion for daring to attack a human that his son and granddaughter love. Number 9. In the original script of Hotel Transylvania 2, Vlad wasn't in it at all. It wasn't until much later, and after several plot changes that Vlad was written in. Number 10. The Hotel Transylvania 3 teaser trailer shows Vlad being checked out by three witches, despite being a wrinkly old vampire. Number 11. Vlad was originally going to live in a castle, but after some time the writers and animators thought it was too similar to Dracula's home, the hotel, so it was changed to a cave. Number 12. At one point, Vlad compares the wig Jonathan is wearing, to disguise the fact that he is human to his grandmother's boobies. Number 13. He is the first vampire shown on screen that shows signs of senility like a human would, and his teeth are actually dentures. All other vampires we see look like adults or kids. Number 14. Based on a comment that Dracula made, it is possible Vlad hates Listen, if you think I don't like it, you definitely don't want to say blah 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 in front of my father. Thing more than Dracula does. Number 15. In this film, vampires have long life but certainly not immortal, or probably they are immortal but they sure grow old. Dracula is visibly middle-aged and Vlad is an old man. We know Dracula started life as a vampire from what Vlad said which means that wasn't the age that Dracula was turned since he never was turned. Also, Vlad's vampire teeth have fallen out and had to be replaced with dentures.